Like the speed of sound. Hi guys, this is Sarah Shop back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the customized G and G Black Rose. Uh, this is a special uh, M4. It comes in at around, it comes in at about 200 pounds. Isn't half bad for a customized gun. Um, it is a beautiful gun. Uh, black and pink. Some people might think that's girly, but uh, most people we've met with it think it's a beautiful gun. I mean, I have seen some girl airsofters run it, but I like it. It's a very nice gun. Beautiful little price. Um, it is actually an AEG blowback. So that is one thing about it that we also like. Uh, looking at the stock, this is a customised Magpul stock. Just casual six point stock for your six points. Um, the battery does not go in stock. It actually comes up here in the handguard, which again is a Magpul customized handguard made by GNG. Obviously, uh, there is no front sight with it. It is a flip up rail sight, which was here, but it it does break off very easily. So we had to buy this sight from Trigger Happy from about fifteen quid, which isn't half bad. The only bad thing is. It's kind of a smoky grey rather than black, so it doesn't actually uh, fit. But uh, the back sight is just a, a normal M4, but we obviously took that off to put the sight on. Uh, this sight is just a one times 32 zoom sight, nothing bad about it. Uh, honeycomb in the front, obviously, this time for down. So the honeycomb has been for the honeycomb for. Um, so, yeah, red and green. Just now under the handguard, it actually does not come with any reels but the top one. That is the only disadvantage that we have found to the gun so far. Um, I mean, you can buy reels for it. We bought a low reel. Uh, it was actually from a G360. Uh, we bought it from Trigger Happy, but it was second hand, so we got it for about five quid and just stick stuck it on there. Five minute job putting it on. Uh, this is just a flip round sight, you mostly see them on AKs, but make a change. Uh, we can put it in three different positions, which is the one here now, which you can hold it like that. Uh, the second one is half down, which you can hold it like that. And the third one is fully down, which is probably the most comfortable. Uh, the battery compartment is actually very awkward to get to. Um, it's inside the handguard. You have to pull this out and pull this and bring it up. It does take a type of, I do not know what you call it, but this type of battery because it does have to sit around the inner barrel. That is another disadvantage actually. You could sort of bend your inner barrel by pushing this down too hard or anything, but so far that has not happened. Um, very, very accurate gun. Um, it actually does come with a customised TNG uh, logo on the lower receiver. Uh, just normal, uh, there's nothing done to the inside of this gun. Just normal um, stock, nothing done. It is actually 318 FPS. It was originally around 370, but obviously since we're in Northern Ireland, we have to get it cut down to lower than 328. So yeah, um, in the stock, if you press this button, and it actually comes with a compartment. So uh, you can fit a tiny, a tiny bottle of BBs in there, or a tactical polo bar, or whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys. Three, two, one, go. Move! 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 Move!